questions about helping to manage <clears throat> the task um, in, a, in a batch process, um, being able to batch delete, batch move, um, a handful of batch tasks. So um, we're working on some changes to tools. So inside of the manager, you have your normal functions. But let's say you go into a task find one here that I know has stuff in it. Here we go. So let's see we go into the task. We have a bunch of things here. So a couple of new things. So you'll see there's a print button here that will print the content in the task. Let's say I wanted to copy content. I can select a bunch of items and copy that selected data. I can go to a different task. paste multiple items now into the new task, something you couldn't have done before. Um, the other thing that I've added is the ability to um, right click and then create a group task. This dynamically creates a new task list. So new task list demo. And this just for debugging purposes, that'll go away. But now you see that there's a task list that steps in for all of those tasks that I've selected. And when I go back to here, we can see that my, my new task list has the items that I copied into there. So that way if you've been um, you know, using tasks for a while and you have very large ones, um, hopefully this will be a way to allow folks to um, do some additional management. Um, the other thing that I had asked is sometimes people need to be able to move things around. So right now we move things one by one, but let's say I wanted to grab these and move them up one. Um, I can do that now. I can grab everything and move the tasks at one time uh, in groups up or down. See the tasks moving. So that allows you to uh, move the content by groups. So hopefully those will end up being useful. Uh, they're in the Windows 7 version. I'm going to see how hard it will be to uh, uh, implement the same thing into the uh, Mac version.